everyone, I'm Kyla from Zuzuro, and this here is my buddy Rolo. And today, he's gonna help me demonstrate how to handle a sick chinchilla. Before we start, make sure to come check us out. We have tons of high quality products made by pet lovers just like you. Check out the link in the description below to get 10% off your first purchase with our special YouTube viewer code. All right, let's get started. If your chinchilla is sick, you will want to minimize your handling of them as much as possible. When you're sick, you aren't up for moving around, and it's the same thing for your chinchilla. So, by minimizing your handling of them, it'll help to not jostle them around as much. The only times that you should be handling your chinchilla if they're sick are if you have to take them to the veterinarian. If you do have to take your chinny to the vet, you'll want to pick them up using the scoop method. This is where you take two hands and place them on each side of your chinchilla. Then, you'll slowly bring them together until your chinchilla has been scooped up into your hands. You should take all of these actions very slowly so you minimize the stress that your chinchilla feels. Odds are that your chinchilla would prefer to be left alone, so they may not be the happiest when you pick them up and may try to get away. Make sure to hold them gently but securely so that way they can't get loose and injure themselves. After you've picked up your chinchilla, you should then bring them to your chest and support all of their legs until they can be placed in a well-ventilated carrier to be transported to the vet. To help make your chinny feel more comfortable, you can also place something with a familiar smell inside of the carrier, such as a little stuffed animal, the fleece from their hammock, or something of that sort. That way, they won't be nearly as afraid and will feel more comforted during the trip. I really hope that your chinchilla gets well soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe for some more critter content. It really helps us out. Thank you guys so much again and we'll see you in the next video.